middle matzah, and you put the smaller half in between the two matzahs, and you put away the bigger half with the afikoma. Why at this point in the seder do we do yachatz? Because we have to start with magid. The, 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 the stanza of magid starts with hey lachma anya. This is the bread of affliction that our forefathers ate in the land of Egypt. So before you talk about lachma anya, bread of affliction, you break the matzah. Because a poor man, you can see either it's bread of affliction or it's bread of poverty. And a poor man doesn't even have a whole piece. He has crumbs, he has shtikalach, pieces. So therefore, before you start the Haggadah with Magid, to relate the story of Pesach, you break the matzah. And this you say, hey, lachmanya, this is the bread of affliction, asher yachola avasona, that our forefathers ate, out of the Mitzrayim in the land of Egypt. When did we eat this bread of affliction, this bread of, of, of pain, this bread of, of poverty, so some say after we, we left Egypt, as it says in the Haggadah, you had no time to bake matzah, to bake bread, and therefore we were rushed and we ate matzah. Another opinion is that it was the night before we left Egypt that we ate matzah over there at the Seder. We had a Seder in Egypt, and we ate matzah, and we had mortar, and we had the, the Pesach uh, meat. So that was the matzah we ate in the land of Egypt. But from the expression over here, this is the bread of affliction that our forefathers ate as if this was a constant thing, this was a steady thing. So the people, the others saying that this is the bread of affliction they ate in the land of Egypt was older than 210 years. As they were slaves for the six, 80, 90 years like they were slaves in Egypt, what did the Egyptians give them to eat? What did they allow them time to make? They gave them a little flour, and that's it. They made some matzah. So therefore, as slaves, lachamanya, the bread of affliction, the poor man's bread, this, was, this is slave's bread, and this is, this is what we ate in the land of Egypt. So therefore, there are three types of matzah. There's taka matzah that shows on slavery. They didn't allow us to rise. They wouldn't, they wouldn't give us more than a little piece, of, a, little, a little bag of flour, and we have to rush and make matzah with it. So that's mamish lachmanya. Then there's a matzah that we ate as a mitzvah. There was a mitzvah to bake matzah. And that was exciting. We're going out of Egypt. We're making matzah. Then there was a third matzah after we left Egypt. That was a really miraculous matzah. That Hashem baked the matzah when we left Egypt. We had no time to bake the, to let it rise. So therefore it says that the sun baked it. Whatever we put it on our shoulders. And miraculously we ate matzah when we left Egypt. So David Shisha helped that to, with this bread of affliction. That what? The poor man's bread. Which is a lesson to us that we should have that lechem oini. Which is what? Humility. Don't let it rise. Have humility. We will be zeicha to l'shana habav and echeden next year. Free men.